Hi, I'm Jessica Besson, Mercer County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Today I'm out in my own backyard showing you an area I normally don't point out to people uh, with a plant that I am in a constant battle with. This plant right back here, that is a Euonymus fortunae, also known as winter creeper. So this is a terribly invasive plant that is very frustrating to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you uh, why it became so frustrating to deal with and a few ways that we can try to control it. Winter creeper was introduced from China in the 1900s to be used as an ornamental. It quickly escaped its bounds and now competes with our natives for light, nutrients, and moisture. It can be found growing in dense patches on the ground, shrub-like form, or growing up trees reaching heights of 40 to 70 feet. Winter creeper is pretty easy to identify. They have opposite leaves that are thick, shiny, dark green, and have very fine teeth that are around the edge. And a lot of times it's one of the only green things we're seeing outside during the winter. In June and July, they'll produce yellow, green little flowers. And in the fall, we'll have ripe red fruits on them. Now these fruits are one of the many ways that they spread so easily. Birds eat the fruit, ingest it, the seed passes through them, and where they're dropping will land another winter creeper sprouts. These plants are also reproduced vegetatively. This means this piece that I have right here could lay on the ground and it will reroot and form a new plant. That's another reason why it's so hard to control. And when you weed eat them or mow them, it's important to make sure you clean up all those pieces that fall in your yard. We have a couple different control options for this plant and all of them are gonna take some time and patience. The first one, if you don't have a large patch of it and you don't wanna use a herbicide, you can just hand pull. You can hand pull, make sure you dig up all the roots and don't leave any pieces behind. That's what my husband and I have been doing for the last couple years with this patch. It has helped, but as you can see, it still comes back each year. The University of Kentucky is currently doing some projects where they're using black plastic to cover the dense ground covers of this plant. Uh, but the problem is you have to leave that black plastic on for at least two years to make sure you smother it and kill it all out. But that could be an option if you have a tiny patch and don't mind leaving the black plastic on. We have promising herbicide options for this plant. If you were to mow it or weed eat it and pick up all the leaves that spill in your yard, you now injured the leaves and broke that waxy seal on that leaf surface. This will allow better absorption of herbicides. You could also mow this plant and let a flush new growth come up, then apply a herbicide when it will be more susceptible. Patience is needed with these herbicide treatments. The effects are not immediate and will take several months for them to appear, and most likely you will have to retreat. For more information on the types of herbicides you can use against this plant, please contact the Mercer County Extension Office at 859-734-4378.